Hello there viewers, today I'm here to make a quick shout out video. I actually received something in the post uh, on Friday from Dom at Last A Lot. Uh, he was very generous because he actually gave me a copy of I Spit On Your Grave. Um, I can't believe this, I just mentioned in one of my vids how I've been after the Palace Explosive and he sent me one, which was insanely kind of him to do so. I've uh, actually sent, <coughs> excuse me, actually sent back a Nightmare on Elm Street VHS. Um, but this is amazing. I really appreciate this. Um, just the fact to have it alone, no matter what condition, I'm really happy about. Um, and it's a great addition to the collection. Uh, and it is an original, because if the color has, what was your roadshow told me, if the color does fade, um, it's actually an original, uh, not the second reprint run that they actually put out. There it is. Um, I'm s still very happy. I'm obsessed by this movie, and to have it in any condition, I'm mo more than grateful. Um, so look inside, the tape's in great nick, so once again, really appreciate that Dom, really do. Um, he sent a little note, don't know if I can read this, but whatever, I'm going to read it. Hi John, aka Video Oz Video Collection, you are holding in your hands the original Palace Explosive of I Spit on Your Grave. I know its condition is not tip top, nor is it uh, an original case, but at least it's a start, and it's always good to have start somewhere. My own copy of I Spit in Your Grave, this original case. I can tell you right now, I pay through the roof for that bad boy and I'm going to savor it for a while. I hope you enjoy this tape in all its revenge, exploitation, glory. Take care, Dom, aka Last Lot. Thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, because my Palace Explosive collection, I mean, I am, I do love the label. I know every single title off by heart. I am quite obsessed by it, but I don't actually even have that many because the ridiculous prices they go for on eBay, and I just kind of went off collecting tape for a while. But now this has put my faith back into collecting tape, so I am going to try and hunt down some more Palace Explosives because, you know, I really do want to get them. Um, here's actually my Palace Explosive collection. It is very, very small, and I stress that. Um, I do have some Palace videos, like... Uh, demons, that's a great one. Demons, uh, creepers. Now these are palace explosives. Creepers, um, rats, night of terror. Very fortunate to find this one at a, a book fair for like a, a dollar. That's the original case and everything. Um, Ozzy Roadshow sent me ice blood sucking freaks, which I am more than grateful for. He was very kind to send me a copy of that. He knew he knew I was off that for a while. Um, so there's that. I now have I Spit on Your Grave. Splatter University. Um, once again, if I did have a spare copy, I would send it to Darren. Um, but unfortunately, I don't. It's my only copy. Great explosive. Antichrist. This was sent once again by Aussie Roadshow. He sent me uh, Antichrist. That was a shock. I opened up. I'm like, whoa. Thank you so much. That was so unexpected. So there's the Antichrist. And we, I also have Savage Man, Savage Beast. So very small palace explosive collection. I do want to expand in the future. Um, I just went off collecting a while because they were so expensive. This is this is kind of the tape cupboard. I just have like tapes everywhere. It's kind of a mess right now. I need to like tidy up and put them on a shelf. But this is just a junk heap for the meantime. Um, something someone asked me was which one. So actually sent me a private message. I forgot who the user was. What do you think my rarest tape is? Well, I think my rarest tape would have to be this. This is um. Yeah, believe it or not, I think this is one of my rarest tapes I own. Salon Kitty, or Salon Kitty, whatever. Um, this is the original uh, VHS VLC video of Salon Kitty. Now, the reason I think this is so rare is because it's a complete uncut version, uh, which was not released outside of Europe except for Australia. And um, I have never, ever seen this on eBay, ever. And I don't know, what a people think of this tape? Is it rare? I'm not really sure. I just think it is one of the rarest tapes I own, because um, I've never seen on eBay ever, and I heard it's the only uncut version until Blue Underground released the uncut, so yeah. Anyway, i just like to say thank you, and once again, cheers.